Alright, Hia Hia Beach! Surely I haven't caught anything here. And I can't use Lapras? Come on! Can I at least fish? Ah, oh, god damn it. Y'all better not be telling me I can't fish here at the beach. Okay, well, I guess I, I guess you can no longer fish in water in these Pokemon games, which means I might as well just move forward. I don't think I'm catching anything back here anymore. Okay, what I want to do is evolve Deucey Orsi to, so he can be that big, strong, whatever it's called. But for some reason, the game always thinks that it's nighttime, even though I'm only playing during the day. So I'm going to reset my DS settings, I guess, and and make it daytime. Alright, here we go. Should have done it last level, but hopefully we do it this time. Deucey Orsi. Yeah, let's evolve. Let's evolve and we'll have two guys who are normal types who can take advantage of that Normium Z crystal. Hopefully your attack stat skyrockets. Kaboom! We got him! It's motherfucking gum shoes, baby! Welcome to the team! Let's see how the stats changed, although I don't remember what they were before. I wish they would show you. You know how when you level up, it like shows you like plus two and all that shit. They should do that also for when you evolve. Um, it wouldn't be that hard to implement, and I think it'd be really cool. Oh, god damn it, I forgot that his attack stat is lowered. Why does this shit keep happening to me? Okay, well, let's, uh, let's move on. Now, I'm afraid that I might have to do, like, a rival fight or something, so I'm gonna switch up my team a little bit, just in case I'm about to get cucked. I challenge you with one we are accustomed to, Poi Pole? No, I don't want to fight you. No, no battle. Get out of my face. Go away. Fuck you. No, no, I gotta fight him anyway. Ah, okay. Well, I switched up my team, so whatever. I'm sure I can take you. Yeah, let's go, aliens. Zossi and friends won a battle. Or Dulce, I guess. I'm sure I'll be fine. Monkey versus Ultra Recon Squad Dulce. Or is it Dulce? Nobody knows. Using Poi Paul. What in the fuck? I've never seen- is that a real Pokemon or is that a joke for this team? Not that I think it shouldn't be a real Pokemon, but I've never even heard of it. What the fuck is it? Uh... Z-Power Tackle! Let's go! Breakneck Blitz him! Uh, X Defense, fuck off. I wanna knock his ass out before I can see what he does. Hopefully he's not a ghost. <laughs> That'd be pretty bad for my normal type Z attack. Deucey Orsi, let's see what you can do as an evolved Pokemon Breakneck Blitz. Let's go. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Come on and slam, if... Ooh, hey, wow, that didn't do anything. Okay, I don't know what type you are. We can sand attack you until we have to switch out. Charm, that's gonna lower my attack. That's fine, because I'm planning on switching out soon anyway. We will sand attack you a whole bunch of times and then switch out. Then hopefully whatever you're planning on doing, you can't do, because you have no accuracy left. Charm again, you're wasting your breath. Okay, two sand attacks, let's go for... Let's go for a hundred. Venoshock. So maybe you're poisoned. Do you have levitate? That's a, an important question. Three sand attacks. You might have levitate, because I see you're floating. All right, I'm getting kind of scared for Deucey Orsi, so we're gonna have to settle for five sand attacks for now. Let's switch to... Um, Ninja Santa. Let's... Let's try a Mud Bomb, although I think he might be levitating. But we'll probably dodge his attack anyway if he tries to hit us. Yeah, we dodged it. Let's, uh, let's just see what happens. Go for the Mud Bomb. Charm again doesn't matter. He avoided the attack. Fucking great. That taught me a lot. Hey, looks like we can hit him! Is it super effective? Yes, it is. Okay, I think uh, Ninja Santa here can take out this Poi Pole. And accuracy is lowered again! <laughs> Get fucked. Oh, Super Potion, you little bitch. Fuck off. All the way back up. 
Too bad you don't have a potion for your- Oh wait, he's used two items now, so I can use two items too. Not that I think I need to. Too bad you don't have an item to heal up your accuracy, you bitch. If I had the Z crystal for ground attacks, I would- I would heavily consider using Z sand attack. <laughs> if that would double lower somebody's accuracy. Uh, especially against a totem. I think that'd be great. Yeah, get out of my face. Ooh, new route means another new Pokemon. Route 6. It looks new in my book. Is there any water on this route? I'm on a water binge today. Okay, I don't see any water, which means let's catch a new Pokemon here in the grass, folks! What's it gonna be? Maybe Chargebug will be here, and we can make up for Grubbin's loss. I already have an Oricorio, technically, but is this a different one in the Pokedex because it's not the same type? Nope, it has a little Pokeball symbol next to the, uh, under the level, which means I do not catch it. Mudbray, you'll have to do! Hey, you're super effective against fire types too, so I guess I can't be too upset, huh? Even if it's a, a pony scum Pokemon! Pony scum, let's, um, well, none of these attacks are gonna do shit to you. Hey, Mud Slap lowers accuracy. Oh, calling for help. Fuck off, I need to catch you, okay? I just got excited that I have a super effective accuracy lowering, lowering move, possibly, that I can use against the totem. That sounds amazing to me. Let's, uh, confusion him. Go, Great Ball! Let's see if we can't get this Mud Slap and Bulldozing ground boy on our team. Oh, fuck you. There you go, Ultra Ball on a level 14 Mudbray. Let's see who gets to be the pony scum. And the winner is Marshlow, who says, Meme, meme, meme. Marshlow has lowered attack, high special defense. Um, and yeah, of course, its best move is a physical one. Of course it is! But we'll probably be utilizing Mud Slap more against the Totem anyway. When does Mudbray evolve? I doubt it's by 22, but maybe. Ah, uh, not until 30. But that's okay, you donkey pony scum. That's okay, we'll probably still have a use for you. Route 7, let's go down to the beach. If we can. Yeah, right here. Ooh, it's surfing time! Surfing turf, baby! Please give me that magic carp. You know I want it. You know I need it. Don't give me some dumbass shit that doesn't even evolve. What do we got? Yeah! Yeah, baby! Hell yeah! What level are you, magic carp? Please be like level 19 for me. <laughs> yeah! Lucky day for me. How do we not kill it? That's the question of the day. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Go for SmackDown, Dire Mood. Dire Mood, you suck shit. And it shouldn't be effective, because he's, yeah, he's a fish. He's a fishman. He doesn't give a shit about your SmackDown. Do it again, don't get a crit. Okay, let's get this magic carp. I've been waiting all week for this one. One, two, three. Got him! Let's see who gets to be the magic carp that just might save us at the totem. If he- oh god, no, he's not gonna know any water moves by level 22, is he? What will he know? Will he know Dragon Rage? Does he learn that at level 20? I just wanted Gyarados because he doesn't have any moves that can really hurt him, but I don't know if he'll have anything that he can do. Oh no. Yeah, let's give him a nickname. And the winner is Butler Block, who just says no. To drugs, I have to assume. Butler Block has Splash and Tackle. Hey, a boosted attack stat! That's good for a Gyarados, lower defense, whatever. You know what? I'm happy with that. Let's see if he learns any moves, though, in the next four levels. And here we are at Wella Volcano Park. As far as I know, the last place I can catch a Pokemon before the Totem, so let's get a good one, folks. Maybe get a fire Pokemon to help us against the grass totem that's coming up, because we haven't even thought about that. Hey, Magby! Perfect! 
I've been catching so much water lately that I was I was thinking, you know, if I survive this and go to the next totem, I have pretty much nothing but things that are weak to grass. So Magby would be a good pick. Um, don't want to use any of these attacks on it because it's a little baby. Ah, oh, flame body, awesome! That's awesome. I mean, not awesome for me right now, but long term, that's a great ability to have. Ah, fuck, that it. Well, it only did two, so that's good. Let's go for confusion instead. Go, great ball. One, two. Three... Ah, fuck you! Oh, Psyduck, or Thaggett's in trouble, isn't he? He's in so much trouble over here. Look at all this shit that he's doing to him. I can't even switch him out. He's just stuck in the fire spin. Oh, uh, that means if we don't catch him, we're gonna die. Go Great Ball again. Magby, stay in your fucking ball. One. Two. Oh, no! Thag it! Ah! Oh, no! Death by Wild Magby. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, last try or else Thag it's dead. What do you prefer, a heal ball? No, it's just like a Pokeball strength. We need the extra strength great ball over here. Come on! Thaggett's literally gonna die if you don't stay in the ball! No! <laughs> Damn you! Damn you to heck! My friend Thaggett is dead! No! <laughs> Fucking bullshit! Fuck you! God damn it. God damn it. Okay, go Violent ve uh, Violet Vex. Violent Vex would be good too. No, stop calling for help. I'm the one who needs help. You just killed a- Ah, another one. Well, I guess I gotta kill that. Ah, I gotta kill the stronger one since I saw level 16 first. Let's go for the Z-Power Aqua Jet. Hydro Vortex. Hopefully it only hits one. Yeah, let's knock out that, uh, the new one that just came in. Oh my god! This Magby's already fucking me up! It's the wild Pokemon capture from hell over here. But let's see what, uh, this Vortex move looks like. Violet Vex surrounded itself with Z-Power, unleashed full force Z-moves, Hydro Vortex! Come on and slam! And welcome to the jam! Come on and slam, if you wanna jam! Hell yeah! Let's do that against the totem, fuck him up. If only we had a better move than Aqua Jet to put it on. Fire spin, great. Well now, I hope we catch you, cause we're trapped. Ah, fuck. Come on, great ball, what, number four? Magby, you better goddamn stay in the ball. One, two, Three. Oh, good. All you wanted to do was kill Thaggett before you would get caught. Awesome. That's like the first time in, in years that I've had something die in like a wild Pokemon encounter. Fucking horse shit. And the winner is the Onion Critic who says, name one Hamtaro. Okay. I mean, Onion Critic sounded good, but Hamtaro sounds better. All right, he's got a boosted attack and lowered special attack, which I have to imagine is the opposite of what I wanted, so just great. Hamtaro, you're off to a great start. And with that, let's go have a quick funeral and then decide which six Pokemon I want to train up to use against this totem. And then I guess... Uh, train him up? Well, faggot, I don't think you did much. And uh, I'm not sure you would have been any good. And you died to a baby Pokemon in the wild, because it wouldn't stay in a Pokeball. So, Thaggett, it's been fun. I'll see you on the other side. Meanwhile, hey! We got Butterblock! Let's get you! We've got, um... Probably don't want to use Anavaria, so we'll move you in favor of... You, yeah, Pony Scum. Dire Mooid is a rough one, because... 
rock and fairy means that his fire moves will be normal effective against you. But you are super effective with your rock moves, and you can use reflect. Although I'm not sure that'll really help if he's using his, um, whatever his fire attack is. On the, it might be flame wheel, though. If it's flame wheel, then reflect might help a lot. But then I don't know what his partner would be using. The other, the support Pokemon might be using special attacks. But still, Reflect's not a bad thing to have. Maybe I could sharpen once and then use Smackdown. Uh, Vi Violet Vex is a given. Uh, Marshlow is a given. Deuce Orsi is not necessarily a given, because I think I can only use one Z-move per, uh, per fight. It's nice that he has Sand Attack, though, but uh, this guy has Mud Slap, which is even better. Um, Ninja Santa will probably be going, and I'll... He might be my strongest water move. Who has the strongest water attack? I guess your special attack is 18. Yours is 28. Oh, but you're using a physical. But it's 39! That's even better! Oops, didn't mean to do that. Meanwhile, you also have an Aqua Jet, so I do want to use Kurt right over here. And I'll probably end up giving the, the Z-Crystal to... It'll probably have to be Violet Vex. Let's switch out Deucey Orsi for, uh, for Kurt right over here. And I think these will be the six I want to use against the totem. So let's, uh, let's go get all the little trainers and shit out of the way, and then I'm gonna have a training session to get everybody up to 22. Yeah, okay.